Hello, Noble Knitter. It's Nancy Queen, and I have a great book for you that you'll love having as a knitting resource. Recently, I did a video about my favorite knitting book. Well, today, it's going to be about my favorite stitch dictionary. This one is Up, Down, All Around Stitch Dictionary by Wendy Bernard. That's not all. She actually has another book, which is just as good. The all around, the knitting all around stitch, stitch dictionary. I'm going to, as always, put links in the description for these books. Both are great books. I got this one first. This is the one I tend to use all the time. Um, I've used the other one on occasion, but this one is my go-to. Let me just tell you first what a stitch dictionary is if you're not familiar. Well, it's a dictionary full of stitch patterns so that you can find a stitch pattern that you want to use in a project. What's nice about it is it will tell you how many stitches you need to cast on. For example, it, the repeat might be a multiple of four stitches and then it'll say plus two because you need to put two edge stitches on to make the repeat and the pattern itself work properly. And that is meant for working back and forth as you normally would if you were knitting a scarf or a blanket, um, an afghan, uh, a sweater that's not knitted in the round, it's just pieces. That's what you would use a traditional dictionary for. But what Wendy has done here is she has made it so that you can use any of these stitch patterns. There's 150 of them in this book so that if you're knitting in a round, so let's say you're making a hat or a cowl or a tube scarf, or mittens or even a sock that you want to put this embellishment on part of it or the whole thing you can do it with this book so it shows not just let me show you this it shows here for example is the trinity stitch it shows not just the flat stitch and here's that four stitch plus two so let's say i was going to make a scarf that's about I don't know, I'm gonna do, give a multiple of four. So 20 stitches wide, well, that gives me five repeats. Four times five is 20, and then I'm gonna add two more stitches to that number, so my cast on number would be 22 stitches in this case. And then if you're going to knit it in the round, that is genius. So this one is just a multiple of four stitches, and it's a four round repeat so that it'll help you when you're planning length as well. So this case, you're just going to cast on 20 stitches if that's if you were doing a multiple of five. So four times five is 20. There's no extra edge st stitches. You cast on and you start knitting in the round and you follow this stitch pattern. And what I love about the book is that it's um, divided by categories. So there's an introduction that shows you everything I just talked about how to use the stitch pattern dictionary. But then there's one section that's just knits and pearls. Another one that's all ribbing patterns. Uh, the third chapter is textured, slipped, and fancy stitches. Chapter four is yarn overs and eyelets. Uh, chapter five is cables, chapter six is lace, then we have color work, hems and edgings, and then she even includes some patterns and of course a helpful index. But the patterns are really cute and I don't know if you saw this, but I, I've got post-its all around this, little sticky notes so that I can refer back because I, like I said, I use this thing all the time. Uh, it's a spiral bound, so you can flip it back if you want. It's a hard cover, so, you know, if it's on your lap, it's not going to feel uncomfortable. It's going to be hard enough to hold up to use because of the, the hard edge, not soft bound. But I want to show you, here's one of the um, projects. This is the waving watch cap pattern. So it's using one of the stitches in the book and she created this pattern or you can create your own using all of the patterns that are in here. And then that's 150 stitches. 
And then if that's not enough, we have the other one, the knitting all around. And this one does the same kind of thing, but it gets into uh, some more interesting and a little bit more intricate stitches. There's still easy ones, but there's one that's the loop stitch. That one looks fun. There's all different kinds of cables in this one. Oh, there's a herringbone pattern. Look how pretty that is. That's so if you're getting into two color knitting and she gives both the written pattern and a chart. So if you're just learning how to do charts, this is a great way to start because you get both in this. Okay, and one more thing I would like to say about this book is that she has a stitch multiple index. So let's say you know that you wanna cast on um, 40 stitches. Well, you can go and find something that is divisible by 40. So five stitches would work eight stitches would work and you can see all of these different patterns that would work. Um, oh, 10 stitches. Here's a 10 stitches. So there's so many options and ways to use this and really have fun with it. So I hope you check it out and I'll see you in the next video.